Hi everyone, welcome back to Edgeway channel. So we are back with another video that is actually the veterinary pathology topic that is difference between post-mortem clot and thrombus. So whenever we are conducting any post-mortem examination, we will be getting a question to identify like which is which is a post-mortem clot or whether it is a thrombus. So we can use some techniques to understand or to make a difference between the postmortem clots and thrombus. So we'll be discussing all those points in this video. So please subscribe this channel and hit the bell button for more updates. So moving to the characters. So first of all, we'll be discussing about the size. That's in case of thrombus, they will be filling the vessel. That is, they will be filling the entire vessel. But in case of postmortem clots, they will be smaller than the vessel. That is the vessel through which the blood is passing. So next point is the consistency. So the, the thrombus will be actually, they will be friable, dry and they will be crumbling like whenever we are pressing that, that clot or not. So but PM clot, it will be rubbery elastic and it will be moist. And surface, that is for thrombus, they will be rough and whether uh, for the PM clot, it will be smooth and glistening. They will be reflecting more light and all. So next is the attachment. The thrombus uh, will be firmly attached to the endothelium, whereas the PM clot, they will be weakly attached to the wall so that whenever we are applying a small pressure, they will get detached. Next one is the color, that is the thrombus will be having red, white or mixed color. But in case of PM clot, they will be having a reddish appearance or we are calling them chicken fat. The last one is the structure, that is in case of thrombus, they will be like laminated structure and they will be having lines of zone. And in case of PM clot, they will be homogeneous. So thank you guys.